Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are testing a very, very hyped up product. I'm going to be putting the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream to the test. I have heard just nothing but rave reviews about this product and I'm so excited to be testing it with you guys today. I also picked up the Putty Primer Trio right here. Let's get a little focus, there we go. I also picked up the e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Brightening Concealer and I picked up a little mini brush to apply the primer and we're gonna try it with the foundation as well. Before we get started, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa. I am a former MAC Cosmetics trainer. I worked for MAC, I was a working makeup artist for many, many years. I love teaching makeup and I love teaching makeup in simple attainable way So if you like those types of videos, then be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun I will um, do a recap at the end of the video too, kind of talking about You know from a makeup artist perspective how this product performs, you know I have pretty normal skin. I live in Austin, Texas. It gets hot here It's not too hot currently But you know depending on our skin type and where we live the climates that we live in Foundations are going to perform differently for different people you know, there is not one foundation that is going to work for everybody, but I will always break it down from, you know, how it works on me, but then also who it might be good for um, and kind of give you that insight as well. So let's get started. I'm going to put this hair back a little bit. There we go. And I picked up the shade Light 280N Neutral. Um, first, let's open this primer. I don't usually use primers when I um, am testing a foundation unless it is the primer that is like meant to go with the foundation. So if it's by the same brand, because I do feel like, you know, it should perform well. So I pop this, I don't even know what primers I get. So I get a poreless putty primer, a matte putty primer, and a luminous putty primer. Nice. Okay, well, I want to try the um, poor putty primer. Okay, so I got these little ones. They come in little three sizes here. Um, it looks like they have something for everyone. Let's see. Which one is this? This is the poreless. We're going to use that one. Okay. And, I mean, it literally is like a tiny little sample. I forget what I paid for this, but, you know, e.l.f. is pretty much as affordable as it gets. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use a little brush. I forgot I have this brush. So this is the Putty Primer, Primer Applicator. It is a tiny little guy and it has a little spatula at the bottom to help you scoop the product out. So let's open this. Okay, I don't really like plastic packaging like this. It's like so hard to open and I feel like I always injure myself, like I cut myself or something. Okay, so this is like possibly the cutest little tiniest brush I have ever seen. Um, now I'm just gonna scoop right into the product like so, and then I'm going to put it on the back of my hand, and we're gonna use this brush to apply it. And I usually concentrate primer just where I need it. I am from the school of, you know, makeup, apply it where you need it, don't apply it unnecessarily. So even though I like to use a lot of products, I like to build very sheer little layers because if there's any mistake you can make in makeup, I think it is applying too much product. And I don't mean too many products, I mean too much volume of products. Use just what you need. So I'm gonna kind of buff this into the skin, really concentrating in the areas that my pores are more noticeable. Okay, so let's talk about the 411 on this product before we go into the application. So on the website, it claims to give medium to full coverage. It does have an SPF of 30. I like that. I like when I find a good CC cream that provides an SPF and provides coverage that kind of mimics a foundation but with skincare benefits. It has hyaluronic acid which is a great ingredient to help the skin retain and attract moisture. It has niacinamide in it which helps brighten up the skin tone and give an even complexion. It also is infused with skin loving collagen and it has peptides in it as well um, which the website says provides a more ref refreshed complexion. It retails for $14 and you get just over an ounce. I believe it is 1.05 ounces. It comes in 20 shades. Now what I will say about like CC creams or BB creams or foundations that tend to be a little bit more sheer, you sometimes will see the shade range be a little more limited than say a medium coverage foundation or full coverage foundation. Although this is a medium to full coverage foundation or a medium to full coverage 
coverage CC cream. But when a product is more flexible, meaning that one shade will cover kind of like a little range of complexions, you might see that the shade range is limited. I don't think necessarily that 20 is limited, but of course it's not, you know, we're seeing brands come out now with 35 shades, 40 shades. Um, so I would say this is kind of middle of the road. It's definitely, you know, not super limited, but it's not one of those brands that has, you know, 35 or 40 shades. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I always start with about one pump, and this is what the consistency is like. So you can see this is what one pump delivers, and it is pretty much staying in place. It is not sliding down my hand. I like to show you guys this because I like you to see how thick or thin and watery a product is. Not to say that one necessarily is better than the other, but I do think that the consistency of a product will be a great indicator of how much product you're going to need on the face. If it's a thinner, more watery product, you might need a little bit more. It's gonna spread out really easily, but it's you might need a little more product. If it's a very thicker consistency, uh, it's likely that a little bit goes a long way, but you are gonna have to work to blend it into the skin, typically. Okay, now I know that this is described as the putty primer applicator, but I think the shape of it actually looks like a pretty nice foundation brush, so let's give that a try. I'm gonna start first by just kind of dipping into my hand. Now, what I like to do is I like to use a brush and kind of pick up the product, but also work it into my hand so I never go directly bam I always like pick it up and then work it into the hand that's just gonna help the product work into the bristles so that you get a more even application I like to start in the center of my face because this is where most of us of course not for everybody but most of us have the most discoloration or sun damage maybe acne the center of the face typically tends to be where we need more coverage Obviously that's not true for everybody, but if you think about it, the sun hits the center of the face, that's where we see the most sun damage. So that's where I like to start because the first place you put your brush is where you're gonna deposit the most color and coverage. Okay, this is nice. It is great coverage right off the bat. I'm seeing that and this brush is actually working pretty well. If you notice, I'm pressing this onto the skin and then once I have it, the coverage that I want, then I will go in little circles to buff and blend out and bring it down here to the perimeter of the face. Okay, that, I'm impressed. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit closer. Should give you a little bit of a better view. I'm gonna go in. The color actually looks a little dark on my hand. It looks a little too dark, but it actually is, mm, I don't know, it could go either way. I feel like I can make this work, but if this is gonna oxidize or turn darker, it's gonna be too dark for me. Okay, so press, 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 and then I'm going to blend and buff. Let's hold this earring out of the way. Coverage is really, really nice. I will say that my pores do seem a little uh, blurred or smoothed out. They don't seem as obvious. You can still see them, but I think it's a bit of an improvement. So far I've used about half the pump and I've got the majority of my face covered to where I want it. This brush works great, it's pretty dense, but if you really buff and move it across, it'll sheer out and blend out. Yeah, I think I should have gone slightly lighter to be honest. One shade lighter would have been perfect for me. Okay, tiny bit on my chin and then the perimeter, the jawline. Okay, so I'm gonna say I have really good coverage. This is about as much coverage as I want or need. It blends out pretty easily. It didn't take a lot of effort to blend out. I have a pretty luminous finish right now. I didn't see any notes. I actually have some notes taped here. I didn't see any notes about the finish of this. So it actually is described as having a natural finish, um, which I think I can agree with. It looks pretty glowy, but um, I think that part of that has to do with my skincare, to be honest. Um, okay, next I'm gonna go in with the um, e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. By the way, this is what I have left of product, so I didn't even use a full pump. A little bit goes a long way. I think had I used a full pump, it probably would have been too much coverage. Okay, so in this, I got the shade Light 26N, and this is described as being a luminous, um, buildable brightening concealer to highlight all over the face. It's a lightweight formula. It brightens and highlights your key features infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. All right, so the directions say to shake well by pointing the tip downward and click the concealer slowly until you see the formula. All right, let's see. Something tells me this is gonna be a very, very um, like sheer concealer and I'm wondering if it's gonna be enough. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, 
All right, now we're going to do the five minutes of loading the, there we go. Oh, that actually came out pretty quick. Okay, um, let's see, let me put this on my hand because I think I got too much. Oh, this is a nice consistency. This is a little thicker than I expected it to be. It's not as sheer and lightweight or as thin. Ooh, it feels good. I always come in the inner corner too because I have a little bit of greenness there. And I'm kind of spreading it out to make sure, oh yeah, this is a nice thin con consistency. When I'm working with a thin consistency concealer, I don't mind putting a little bit more because I know that I'm gonna be able to blend it out nicely. Now I am gonna go in with a um, BK Beauty 108 brush to press this in and blend it in. Okay, that's good coverage. That's more coverage than I expected. For being pretty lightweight, it actually does give good coverage and I think the color is nice. It's definitely brightening on me, but it works and I like it. I think it's thin enough too to where it could work over a concealer. So if you want, if you have like really dark under eyes and you find that this is not enough to cover uh, or cancel out darkness, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that it would be, you can use this over a color corrector without it being too heavy or cakey. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna take my brush and press. Press, press, press. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I like the way the skin is looking. What do you guys think? Very luminous, good coverage in both the, the uh, CC cream and also the under eye brightening concealer. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys take a quick look, then I'll go and set with powder, bronzer, I will do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got all my makeup on. I actually filmed this look, so this will be on my channel before the video that you're watching goes up, so I'll be sure to link that down below. But so the makeup has been on for about 45 minutes or so. Things look really good, you guys. They look really good. It definitely has a natural finish. I did set it quite a bit uh, with the Essence Brighten Up setting powder, so I did initially mattify it, and when I first mattified it, it pretty much got a pretty matte finish right away. Now that I've had about 30, 40, well, more like 45 minutes, of wear, you can see that natural uh, radiance peeking through. I wouldn't call it luminous or super radiant at all, but it definitely um, has more of a natural finish than it did right after I set it with powder. Things look good. The concealer looks good. I have some good coverage from that. I also set that with the powder and I don't have any creasing as of yet. It is currently 11.50 a.m. So I will, it's about noon, it's about noon. I will do several check-ins throughout the day and we'll see how this product performs. Forms. All right, friends, it is 4.30 p.m. and I'm finding a pretty sunny natural light spot here in my bathroom. I'm gonna show you guys the um, how things look here, but then I'm also gonna go over to my bedroom window where the light is not so harsh, but it's also natural light so you guys can see. Uh, so I haven't touched up, but I did pretty heavily powder when I initially applied this. I filmed another video and I used the Essence Brightening Powder and I really set the foundation pretty well. Things are looking really good. I mean, you are starting to see some shine, but I feel like it's very controllable. Um, it hasn't really started to move much. I had a mask on really briefly. Um, I had to take Max to the vet today, so I had to put it on to pick him up. But um, things are looking really, really good. Let me see if I can get some bright light. There we go. So you can see that shine. Obviously that is being magnified because of how harsh the light is here, but everything looks to be in place pretty well. I'm not seeing the foundation fade or wear. Um, it's still got good coverage. The concealer also looks really good. It's not the most full coverage concealer, but I think that it offers pretty decent coverage for the uh, lightweightness of it. So let's go walk over here to my bedroom window and see how the light shifts and changes everything. <laughs> All right, so now we're standing in front of my bedroom window and you can see that the light is still natural, but a lot softer. Looks really good. I definitely could touch up right now, which I'm gonna do shortly after. I'm just gonna powder the center of the face. I will use a loose powder. I'll use the, um, what do I have down here? I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do with that and then I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. Hey friends, it's a little after eight o'clock. So I've had the foundation on for about eight hours and I'm giving you my final check-ins for the day. I really, really like this product, you guys. Um, it definitely has a natural finish. I haven't touched up since my last check-in with you guys, which was what, about four hours ago? And you can see that I have a little bit of a glow, but it's very controlled. It's not shiny, it's not overly dewy. I don't even feel the need to touch up at this point. Um, it looks really, really good. The concealer's worn off a bit, but otherwise everything looks good. I did have a mask on for about an hour and I don't see any areas that it has worn off. You do have your normal kind of, you know, product migrating a little bit around the, um, 
like corners of my nose, but nothing bad at all. I, I'm really, really impressed with this product. I think the shade works. It didn't oxidize on me or turn darker, but I also think that I could have gone a little bit lighter. So I'm, um, I'll keep this shade, but I will pick up the color just below it. And I think I could get away with wearing both or mixing the two together. So overall, I'm really happy with this product. I really recommend it. Um, I think it would be great for all skin types. Um, you know, excessively oily skin, it's going to have a little bit of a radiance to it, but it's not overly radiant or dewy. So it's very easily controlled with powder and it is long wearing. So that's why I say, even if you have a oily skin and it gives a little bit of a glow, it's still very controllable and it doesn't, uh, continue to get shiny throughout the day. So that's why I think it would be okay for it and suitable for oily skin as well. For dry skin, I think it'd be great because it has that radiance and for normal skin, I also think it would be great. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you've tried this product, let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Um, we'd love to hear what you guys think of it. And then also your skin type and skin concerns. So everyone can kind of gauge like, oh, okay, she has oily skin and she loves it or she has oily skin, she hates it. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.